and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. Since Cinema 4D release 21, we've got a new subfields workflow and I want to show you how that works. So there are some fields like the radial, the formula, the decay and more, where you can modify a parameter by using a set of other fields. And these fields are then called subfields. Let me show that. So here in the plane effector, I already have got a radial field applied and as you can see, there is this small unfold button. Let's do this and you see that there is a subfolder. And in this case, it's directly linked to the radial field's offset parameter, so to this parameter. If we adjust that, you can see what it does. So it creates radial movement here. But we can also control that with a field or multiple fields. So let's create a spherical field here. Here we go. And now you see that the spherical field is another field here of the list and therefore affects all of the clones here. But if we want to use this spherical field as a subfield, in this case to control the radial field's offset parameter, we need to make it a child of this subfield folder here. And there you go. Now it's already a subfield, but it's too big for that setup. So let's decrease the size here. And let's also go to the remapping and adjust the inner offset to be zero. So now you can see that the offset parameter has less influence on the outside and more influence on the inside and therefore it creates a spiral. Now if we select the radial field and go to its field options, we can still modify the offset and you can see that the spiral strength adjusts. Thanks for watching! If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe!